Good morning, Howard. We. For lunch today, I've decided to go with sliders. Normally, I let the kids do their own thing with lunch, but I've got about maybe a half pound-ish worth of beef left over from spaghetti. And since the boys are getting ready to head back home for band, marching season is still happening. High school band is still happening. Um, I am getting ready to send my son off back to Huntsville so that he can do his virtual schooling and well both of them and um, get a little March of season under his blood. He's a freshman and as you can tell I am a band head. I think you've seen more than one band t-shirt. <laughs> so um, I don't want him to miss this first year experience due to Corona. There's a lot of things we've been sitting down since March and you know, you can say the pandemic isn't over just because you're over it. Um, but at this point, I am kind of over it. I am still big about wearing masks out in public, uh, washing hands and not touching people. Believe me, like I am Corona crazy just as much as I'm kitchen safety crazy. But I feel like at this point, Corona's taken a lot in 2020. And um, wear your mask. And if I can watch baseball season successfully happen in certain places, and as long as other people are doing what they have to do to be responsible, you know, I've got a few people on my timeline that are strict anti-maskers, and I feel like, you know, these are some of the same people that don't believe in vaccinations either. So, you know, it's almost kind of irresponsible for you to have that kind of attitude, especially when other people's children are at play. Um, and I will say that, you know, those people who throw fits about masks are irresponsible, they're selfish, they're narcissistic, and they don't care. They don't care about you, they don't care about the people that they hurt, and not until it hits their household, you know what I'm saying? So, my kids have been safe and corona-free guaranteed since March, and so I am almost a little corona nervous about sending my son off to March and band, but, you know, as... I, I have my moments where I escape and I need it. And I think that, you know, a little bit of normal life after my kids have been in quarantine, responsibly quarantined for five months. Like, I know my babies ain't been nowhere but to the grocery store. Uh, shoot, we didn't even go out for birthdays. Like, we have been responsible. So, even under what school is starting back, we're doing virtual school. Uh, we're doing virtual school, and he's going to go out for band. Like, band is going to be his only exposure. And so, but you need that. I think that it is totally worth it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said it. I think band is totally worth the corona risk. So, my son is going to be a marching gymnast and jaguar this year, a freshman. He may have missed band camp because his mama was waiting to see. And I ain't gonna lie, I let band camp be the corona experiment. Like, if they could have gotten all the way through band camp successfully. Um, sorry, sorry, Reggie. Reggie, I love you. Reggie, I love you. I had, I had, I had, I had to see band camp happen. <laughs> so now that we've successfully navigated through band camp, um, Jonathan's coming out of quarantine to do marching season. So when y'all see that little dreadhead boy, y'all shout a little bit for that dreadhead boy on the band field because mommy's still gonna be under quarantine in New Orleans with the Nisi poop. So. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I'm making sliders. I don't even know if I said that. Um, and y'all know if you like crystals, if you like White Castle, the only difference between this is mustard and ketchup. Google it. But anyway. I'm mincing up these onions real, real fine. And normally, I got a tool for this. I do. I do. But, there, I have to mince up onions real, real fine for y'all. All right, guys. When you're making yourself some sliders, you don't want to make really, really big burgers or really, really round burgers. About maybe an ounce, a little less than an ounce. Really, really teensy, weensy, tiny. Because, I mean, the whole purpose of a slider is to be a small burger. And once you hit that um, grill, you're going to smash it. So, smashing it also is going to give it that nice, thin shape. So, just a small 
meatball size, one ounce. If you've got like a, um, a ice cream scoop, I think in the restaurant, if we use the scoop, I think it's like the green handle scoop. But a, a small slider, um, small one ounce patty, you get up to about two ounces, then you're almost at a kid size burger. That's not a slider. That's going to be too big. So a one ounce burger, maybe even less, 0.75, uh, three quarters of an ounce, just a small wee burger for sliders. Um, also, you know, because uh, if you depend on if you got good quality meat too, I use a lean ground beef. It's not fatty at all. Um, no filler. So um, depending on how much, if you use more of a a ground chuck like that's got more fat in it. Um, still, you might want to go up on the burger just because it's going to shrink. So maybe do an ounce and a quarter because you're going to lose burger due to fat. But I've got a nice quality lean beef here. So these cute little one ounce patties aren't going to shrink much at all. Um, what else? I think that's it. Also, um... It doesn't take much seasoning, but season a burger how you like. Let me tell you something. A lot of restaurants, y'all be like, ooh, what they do to that burger? Salt, pepper. You be lucky if you get garlic. So, like, sometimes, you know, if you've got a good quality meat, you don't really have to do too much to it. Just salt, pepper, and garlic, and, and call it a day. Um, because I'm telling you, that's what they doing. Um... Uh, they might have a special blend, maybe a 80% salt, 10% pepper, 10% garlic, or maybe, you know, some other kind of ratio and you can work in onion in there. But it's it's not it's not heavy. Like y'all be at home reaching for everything green on your hamburgers and you didn't got I mean they probably the bomb too, because I do I do to it. I do too. But just remember that. That sometimes when you're trying to do something a little too much and you're trying to figure out what they did to it nine times out of ten they didn't do anything too complex um especially if you're doing a burger seasoning um and that's all i have to say about that the best way to cut these Hawaiian rolls is to not split them up or whatever rolls you got. Don't split them up. Cut them one big lump together, okay? And the best you can, if they're not perfectly even, that's all right. And just take your bread knife. Don't push down on the rolls and just go down the middle. If you've got a nice steady elbow and can hold a 90 degree angle, then you should be able to cut these Hawaiian rolls all together. No problem. If not, then take them apart if you want to, but, oh, I missed those last few. But to me, that is the easiest way to do it. It's just cut them all together, okay? All right, first step in the sliders is the onions. And just kind of space them out. Don't do a big clump, but just some onions. I don't know if I can get one in y'all shop. There we go. There goes some onions in y'all shop. But step one is get your onions down. Okay. And I normally space them out a little better, but this is a smaller flat top. And I'll do some with onions and some without. So first thing is you get your onions down, all crystals like style. I ain't never worked at crystals by the way. But you get your onions down and you put your burger right on top of that onion, okay? And don't worry about them right now. Being a little thick, I can move my little onions underneath the burger. I'm gonna make four without onion down here for my sister. You know she don't do no onions, no pepper. So, but anyway, I got nine up here. Okay. And you put the 
burger right on top of the onion and then you're going to smash it smash it in there let that happen if I had a bigger flat top I would probably have um, the bottom somewhere toasted right now getting all of this juice these are the onion free ones for my sister down here just wee ones and you're letting that onion caramelize into the patty into the slider These were actually pretty fat. Okay. The slider's built, cheesed up, no pickle. But what I'm finna do, I'm finna take the whole thing and I'm gonna flip it. Getting a little toast action on the top bun. We'll have slides in a second. Depending on if you prefer white crystals or crystals, um, Crystals, throw mustard on them. White Castle, throw ketchup, okay? That's the difference.